Welcome to CTSC Online. CTSC Online is an ongoing series of videos discussing various aspects of cybersecurity with specific application to NSF-funded cyber infrastructure projects. CTSC Online is made possible by funding from NSF. Building a Cybersecurity Program, a tutorial for managers and PIs. In this video, we will begin our discussion about a system or project's risk assessment. Risk management is the idea that a project will investigate and assess what their risks are and how they will then deal with those risks. It should be understood that this is a process, meaning this will go on over the life of the project. Risk management is not a one-time effort. You don't perform a single risk assessment and then you are done. There are no silver bullets in cybersecurity. There will always be risks to your systems, and you must determine how best to mitigate them. Risk management is the undertaking of analyzing and assessing risks to the system or project, and then developing controls that will be used to mitigate those risks. An important part of the risk management process is that of the risk assessment. The Risk Assessment Tool is a structured program of identifying threats to the system and prioritizing the response to those threats. A simple way of thinking about risk management can be shown by this diagram. The first step is that you perform a risk assessment. This answers the basic question of, what are your risks? You will look at your project and determine what the risks are facing it. Do you have to worry about hackers? Do you have to worry about insider threats? This entails going through the entire project and looking at the various components or pieces of it and then determining what it is you are trying to protect. Once you have made that assessment and determined which risks are the highest priorities or which risks it is that are most important at this time to address, you can then begin to figure out how to mitigate or deal with those risks. How will you go about minimizing them? In some cases, the minimization might be that you just accept the risk. For example, the most secure system is one which no one can access, and then you don't have to worry about anyone getting on and doing anything to it. However, this is not very useful. You have to accept the risk that allowing people to access your system is needed to make the system usable. The third step of the risk management process is to evaluate where things stand. You look at the risks you had assessed and determine if they are successfully being mitigated by the controls you put in place. Are all the controls you implemented really doing what they are supposed to? Are they still all needed? Did you assess the correct risks? Or have the ones you thought were high priority shown that they really aren't? Have new risks arisen? Have risks you thought were low priority shown that they are really the ones you need to be worrying about? This is all part of the evaluation process. This information then feeds back into performing a new risk assessment and moving through the whole process again. As you can see, this is an ongoing cycle that you need to be performing on a regular basis. At the high level, risk management can be thought of as three things. Assessing, mitigating, and evaluating. Assessing is where you go in and look at the various pieces and parts of your system. This would include hardware, software, network setup, configuration management, disaster recovery. This would also include people, policies, and procedures. Also, you would assess your current controls that you have and determine if they are doing what they are supposed to. For example, if you have a password policy, are your staff and users adhering to it? It would be investigating and gathering together all the information about your project and then looking at each part and determining what vulnerabilities exist in those pieces and parts. For example, are you keeping your operating systems up to date with security patches? Vulnerabilities are weaknesses in your system and that is one of the first things you need to assess. Then you need to think about what threats exist that might take advantage of those weaknesses. This is all part of the assessment aspect. Mitigation is the next part of the process. Once you have determined what vulnerabilities exist and what threats might exploit those, you have an idea of the risks facing your system. 
You are able to then rank those risks and determine which one you need to address first. You address risk in terms of mitigation. Through mitigation, you are able to either remove or lessen the chance of the risk, or you might just decide it is a risk you can accept and live with. Mitigation comes down to understanding the cost of the risk and the cost of removing the risk. What will be the impact to the system or project if the risk occurs? Does that cost outweigh the cost of the control that will mitigate the risk? Is it worth buying an expensive intrusion detection system if there has never been an incident of someone getting onto your system? The final part is evaluation. This is where you review your risk management program. You look at the risks you identified and prioritized to see if they still make sense. You review your previous risk assessment and perform a new one. This will allow you to look at the controls you put in place and see if they are indeed doing what they were supposed to do. Evaluation is extremely important and must be done on a regular basis. This whole concept can be shown very well in this diagram. The diagram explains the risk cycle. We start with threats. Threats are what we worry about. They're the things that can affect our system and project. But just because a threat exists, it doesn't mean we have to deal with it. Threats take advantage of vulnerabilities in our system. Vulnerabilities are part of the assets we have in the system. If a server security patch is not being kept up to date, we create a weakness a hacker can take advantage of. This in turn can damage our asset say, our reputation. So in other words, a threat that exploits vulnerability is what constitutes a risk. Risks only exist when there is both an existing vulnerability in your system and a threat that can exploit it. We then put controls in place to mitigate that risk. Controls can take many forms and deal with risk in various ways, but mitigation is the key to risk management. This all ties back to limiting the threat. If the control does not successfully deal with the original threat, then the control must be reevaluated, or a new threat might arise and exploit a new or existing vulnerability. The cycle is ongoing, and that is why risk management is an ongoing process. In this video, we have looked at risk management and what all it involves and how it applies to a cybersecurity program. If you would like more help with building a security system, please contact CTSC. You can get contact and other information on the CTSC website, trustedci.org. CTSC Online is made possible by funding from NSF, grant number OCI 1234408.